Hey guys, King Casey here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be doing the Lucario Productions Timeline Part 2. Last time we covered pretty much all of my character's events before the tournament, before I joined the Lucario Productions universe. And we left off where Casey was just on his way to go to Tournament 7. So without further ado, guys, hope you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just get right into it. So, after seeing the tournament on, um, Tournament 6 Finals, I was really fascinated on what was going on here. So, I grab my ticket and head off to Tournament 7. Now, once I get there, I have no idea what I'm, what I'm doing. I pretty much just arrive, I register my team, I decide to rock my OG team this this time around. And now, I'm really looking forward to it. So I start to talk to some people. I talk to Gaming Peter, Steed, the two finalists from last year. I also meet some people like Infer, Angel, and TJ, who are really all nice people. And I'm really happy to meet them. I also meet Alexander and AJ as well. But now it's time for the opening cer ceremony. And my first matchup is against Steve. My heart freezes for a second because I realize that he's a really powerful trainer. So, okay. A couple days go by and the, and the first round matches play out. Then it's my battle. Me versus Steve. Now, I, of course, get the... The disadvantage immediately because I'm going up against his Raichu who instantly wrecks my Pikachu. But then I managed to come back with Salamence, taking out both Raichu and then drawing with his Salamence. Moving on, G Ch Ch Tyranitar and Gallade come out. Gallade manages to take out Tyranitar, but then as soon as he returns Tyranitar to his Pokeball, he brings out his next Pokemon. His Johnny Greninja, the same one he used in Tournament 6. Now, as he battle bonds this thing up, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I know this thing is powerful. But I still got four Pokemon left, alright? I can win this wrong. Gre Greninja goes on to one shot Gallade and then three shot Gudra. Like that. And only managing to, to get a quarter of its health down with those two combined. Then I have to send out my Ash Greninja, Battle Bond it up, and and we're off. I managed to get it to take out his Shiny Greninja with just a sliver of health of my Greninja left standing. Then he sends out a Mewtwo. Greninja gets one shot. I go back into my Blastoise since it's my last Pokemon. And I defeat Mewtwo, but he brings out his Mega Skeptile. And two shots Blastoise with a Leaf Blade and Leaf Storm combination. That is how my Tournament 7 ends. I'm not the strongest trainer yet. Things will improve, but okay. With that tournament done and that behind me, I, I leave since I need to uh, go train. So now, let's move on to the mishaps in between Tournament 7 and Tournament okay. 8. So now moving on to the section between Tournament 7 and Tournament 8. I go back to Johto and complete the Johto decks. Because I wanted to get a few more Pokemon, and I just wanted to have some more on my roster. But we also get into some rival bat idols, which my only one I have is against TJ, a person I met in tor at Tournament 7. So we meet, and we have a battle. Now, TJ obviously is going to wipe the floor with me, but I do put up a good fight. I d even though all five of my team members get taken down, and he only lost three. So, I'm down to my Blastoise. My, it's already Mega Evolved, and he brings out his, his Gallade. He Mega Evolves it, and it's on. The match is pretty intense, but after the, the match, I managed to Hydro Pump Gallade, and it lands on a tree nearby, taking it down. But, of course, TJ has other powerful Pokemon than just his Gallade. After returning Gallade to his Pokeball, he throws out a Primal Shiny Kyogre, no idea how we got that. And then it um, proceeds to just wipe the floor with Blastoise. Taking it out. 
But those were all the mishaps that I got onto between Tournament 7 and Tournament 8. But now you can guess what it's time for now. Tournament 8! So, after go going back from my match with TJ, I get an announcement that Tournament 8 is underway. So I register my team and get my plane ticket to go there. Let's move on to the next section. Okay, moving on to Tournament 8. Now... I meet up with all my usuals. I see TJ and Steve from last tournament, along with Gaming Peter, Alexander, AJ, Angel, the the usual. But I do meet a person called Angel. And even though we aren't going to battle in this tournament, we will battle in a couple other tournaments later down the line. And TJ introduces me to one of his siblings, who owns a Mega Ladios, which was really interesting to me. But after meeting a couple more pe people, the tournament starts. The first round matchups are in, and I'm revealed to be battling TJ's sibling. And this is a top 64 tournament also, so this was one of the biggest ones ever. And I'm more than hyped and raring to uh, go. The, the uh, team I brought for this tournament is Pikachu, Mega Blastoise, Marshadow, Marsha um... Tyranitar, Charizard, and Salamence were all brought in for from some team members I brought out of retirement. But the but the next few matches go on a, as normal. Rivals move on. Some people get taken out early, and now it's my battle. The battle begins and the match is off. The battle goes evenly, but I'm dominating, if you would say that. I'm Ash. Mash to get him down to two Pokemon. I still got three left. Charizard comes out and being the beast that it is, manages to take out Slurpuff with an Iron Tail A attack. And then he returns Slurpuff to his Pokeball and whips out a Master Ball and throws out Latios. He Mega Evolves it. And this is where things get shaky because Charizard engages in an aerial battle with this thing. And if it couldn't take out a Mega Evolve version of itself with Lance, there's no way it's it's living this. So after a quick aerial battle of an air slash flamethrower combination, it comes to that Dragon Rush's full force and sends Charizard down to the uh, ground. Crud. I return it to its Pokeball, and the next one I send out is Marshadow. It jumps in the air, trying to get the advantage by using Shadow Ball, but... It goes down to two attacks. Then I need to bring in my Blastoise as my last one. I Mega Evolve it, and it, the match is on. It's in a Forest Battle Field. So, Lardius has the advantage because it has to move Agility, so it can move really fast. While well, Blastoise is kind of slow, and doesn't have the aerial advantage. So, after a fierce battle, Lardius takes a, a Draco Meteor attack, hits Blastoise. And even though Blastoise did have Blizzard... Blastoise goes down, making me come out of Tournament 8. But it was a good run. I had a really good battle, and and I, and I leave the tournament early because I'm feeling kind of sad again. But I do watch Round 2 for, for a bit. But that is pretty much everything that happened in Tournament 8. But okay, guys, let's move on to the events and mishaps that happened in between Tournaments 8 and Tournaments 9. So... Pretty much what I did in between tournaments 8 and 9 is I just trained up for tournament 9. I was not willing to lose again. And I was ready for this tournament this time. And pretty much I went to Alola and completed the Alola decks. Because why not? And I needed more Pokemon also. But then we also got into some rival battles again like last time. So the people that we'll be facing this time is a rematch with Steve and against Infer. So let's start off with the rematch with Steve and let's see how that went. I lost, but I went pretty good. So the match starts and I'm pretty much being taken out of most of my Pokemon. I get down to my Blastoise. And I got two Pokemon left and Steve has... Three Pokemon. I managed to take out his Charizard after my Charizard went down to his Charizard. I managed to take out his Charizard after using a Hydro Pump, and he brings out his Mega Skeptile early. Like how I did with my Blastoise. And then, 
he manages to, to, oh wait, I forgot about something. Let's re, what's, let's rewind it a bit for a second. So, Charizard manages to take out Charizard, but then, guess what comes out? The pesky Greninja from Tournament 7, and it's back again. And Greninja battle bonds up and one-shots Charizard with a water shur shuriken. Because, obviously, Charizard just goes down to water attacks. I have to bring out my Blastoise Mega Evolve it early and hit it with a Hydro Pump and lots of other attacks and have that thing be taken down. And then, Steve throws out his Mega Skeptile, which obviously takes out my Blastoise due to type advantage. And then I throw out my last Pokemon, Marshadow. It manages to take out Mega Skeptile, which is improvement from last time. But then it throws out a new Pokemon I've never seen before. Black Kiram. Up to this point, I've never seen this thing. And I don't know what to do. So I just start telling Marshadow to just launch attack after attack after attack. Shadow Ball. Close combat. More Shadow Ball. Do, do some of your Shadow Sneak. But once the smoke clears, I didn't do anything to this thing. It just launched fire, electric, dragon, ice attacks. I had no, um, idea what its type was, and eventually Marshawn just gets taken out pretty easily. But, that was the rematch with Steve. Let's move on to Infer's battle. Now, Infer's does go a bit better, because I didn't get tr train wrecked, but I still lose to a pretty good... Um, battle, but I pretty much are, are am on my last Pokemon, Marshadow, and I managed to take out his second to last and his Mega with my Marshadow, of course. And then he throws out a Lugia. I've seen this thing before. Go back to know my Johto League video. And then um, after a quick but fierce battle, Marshadow gets taken out due to fatigue and having to deal with a Mega Pokemon before it, but. Okay, but as I am in the Kalos region, um, doing stuff, filling the decks, I get a notification on my phone that Tournament 9 has begun. Of course, I sign up and I'm off to Tournament 9, and that is what we'll be covering now. So guys, I'm just gonna be honest really right here. I don't remember much about tor Tournament 9. It's kind of blur blurry to me, so we're just gonna go over all the things that I know. I arrive at the tournament and meet some all my others we got gaming peter steve tj all the normals aj alexander angel um and a couple more of tj's siblings and then i also meet up with angel again who i've known for quite a while now and then when the battle when i mean when the opening ceremony begins and we see um the uh, mashups it's me versus angel it, a rival battle this is gonna be fun so, moving on. I don't remember much about this battle. I just remember that I am on my Blastoise and I take out whatever Pokemon he had before. And then Angel sends out his last Pokemon, Omega Lucario. And um, after a quick but fierce match, Lucario deals the final damage with a power up punch, right in, knocking Blastoise right in the face. Okay, but, okay, guys, sorry that isn't really much of a big section of all I know of Tournament 9. Again, this was really bl blurry to me, but, uh, yeah, we don't, I don't really get up to much. I really don't remember this tournament at all, but, okay, so now we are going to be moving on straight to Tournament 10, because really nothing happens in between Tournaments 9 and Tournament 10, but... Okay, guys, let's get right into it. Okay, that. with Tournament 10, I got a bit more to a cover. So, pretty much what happened in between... I just went and completed the 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 Akalos decks. Because I needed to. And then I got word of Tournament 10 starting and how there was a new gimmick that would be shown off here. So, I'm all ready for it. I, I signed myself up and I'm off. Arriving at Tournament 10, we meet the normals. TJ, Steve, Gaming Peter... RSG, um, Alexander, Angel, Infer, AJ, pretty much all of my normals. And then, um, the matches, 
um, show for the first round, and I'm up against RSG, another rival battle. This should be fun. But I watched the first bat battle, and I noticed something weird about the Salamence. Or, like, I think it was a Heracross. Yeah, we'll just go with a Heracross. So, a Heracross, battle bonds. I thought that was only possible with Greninja. Not every other Pokemon out there. And I am just stunned as I see this Heracross just sweep the other opponent's team. And even and even it only takes him... He sweeps three Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't see this coming. Apparently, Gaming Peter, Steve, TJ, Alexander, and RSG all had it. And they never told me about it. So, I didn't even know what this was. So, yeah, when I was going up against RSG, I knew that I was pretty screwed. But, okay, we'll highlight the battle and some of its highlights. Nothing really happens until we get to, to the halfway point of the of the, the battle. I just, my Blastoise came in and took out a Savalor that took out my, my Pikachu. So, I managed to take it down without Mega Evolving, and then I need to bring it out early. RSG returns the valet to its Pokeball and sends out Tapu Bulu. An interesting choice. And we aren't allowed to use legendaries in the tournament, but I guess it counted. It didn't count as a legendary, but... Okay, moving swiftly on. Um, I, I swapped out Blastoise since I knew if I if I stayed in, it would be crushed. So I throw in my Bisharp to get the type advantage. But uh, after dodging two guillotines... A lot of Night Slashes, Ice Shards, and Thunder Waves later, um, Tapu Bulu manages to take out Bisharp with a couple Moon Blasts and a Vine Whip. Then I have to throw in Charizard, and Charizard really just puts up a really great effort, but Tapu Bulu ties Charizard's wings two together and makes it fall, and it chucks it into the side of the stadium, making Charizard faint. I have to bring in my Blastoise, since it is three to one, and I've already used Blastoise. So I have to Mega Evolve this thing and then Ice Punch this thing twice to make it go go down. He sends out a Battle Bond Salamence. But after a really close match of, and I'm only at half health at this point, manages to take out Battle Bond Salamence without losing Blastoise. Then he sends in his final Pokemon, Glalie. And it Mega Evolves. And, of course, a Mega Battle ensues, but I have Brick Break, so I'm thinking that I have a decent chance of winning this. But we both get down to red health. The match is so intense. It fi I fire off a Hydro Pump. It fires off an Aurora Beam. They go past each other, it and they hit. They the smoke clears, and Blastoise takes the fall. That is the end of Tournament 10. But pretty much, I'll be covering a few other battles that happened. Steve and TJ end up bat battling, and um, Steve ends up winning. I mean, TJ TJ wins, and then and he goes on to face Gaming Peter in the finals. Who Gaming Peter wins because Gaming Peter's Charizard with Battle Bond is OP. But okay, guys, that is pretty much all for. Tournament 10. Then we will, in the next section, we will be getting to all the events uh, and mishaps going on between Tournament 10 and 11. And don't worry, it gets good after this. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is where things start to pick up in, in action a bit. Now that Tournament 10 is over, I go to Kalos to try and master ba Battle Bond. Which, of course, appeared in Tournament 10 for the first time, and I got train train wrecked because of it. But, speaking of, where where will I be training for Battle Bond? In Kalos, of course. Because Kalos was my main region, and since Mega Evolution was first discovered there, I thought I could go do that too. So, I go to train with the champion of Kalos, which is still Diantha at this point in time. And I, um, I do train with him. I do one-on-one -on -one battles with his Gardevoir. I mean, with her Gardevoir, like, every day. But I'm getting stronger, but I am still haven't figured it out yet. So, I go and catch Noibat, which I actually find on my way to the Pokemon League. 
and that will evolve into a Noivern a lot later down the, uh, the uh, road, farther than the events of the timeline, for, um, sakes. But pretty much, um, then, in the one-on-one -on -one battle, Pikachu is on the uh, ground, about to be hit by a powerful Moonblast attack, but then, it starts to evolve into a Raichu, without a Thunderstone. That's weird. But when it evolves, it jumps, uses its new move agility, flies back, and then battle bonds into a battle bonds Raichu. And then it gets up, going really fast, dodging, and hits um, Gardevoir with a powerful Iron Tail. But, Gar but Diantha calls off the uh, battle. She says that train with it a bit more, and then we'll have a full 6-on-6 six six ba battle tomorrow. So the team I use for this full 6-on-6 six six battle against Diantha. Battle Bond Raichu, Mega Blastoise, Noivern, Dragonite, Gallade, and Charizard. Now, <clears throat> the first half of the battle is taken by Charizard, Dragonite, and, and Gallade. Then the second half of the battle is taken by Noivern, Mega Blastoise, and, and Raichu. Um, Noivern manages to uh, take out Gudra after a really great dragon battle. But Halusia comes out and and takes out Noivern. Then I send out my Blastoise, which I, I'm not using the Omega Stone for in this battle. And it draws with the Halucha, meaning the final battle is between me or um, Battle Bond Raichu and Mega Gardevoir after a really long, intense battle of just attack after attack after attack. No Pokemon, no, um, Pokemon is dodging to make sure that they have their full pride in this battle. And, after the smoke clears of the final attacks, Gardevoir goes down and Raichu wins the match. I'm not the champion of Kalos, of, of course. Cause that would just be kind of overpowered, and since if I was the champion of Kalos, I would be able to defeat most of the trainers in, in the tournaments. But, no, I'm not the champion of Kalos. They might, that might happen a bit later down the uh, line. But, okay. Now, after um, I defeat Diantha, and I start to catch a bit more Pokemon in the Kalos section, just scouring over the last one, we get a mess, and when I'm in my hotel room, I get a message on TV from, um, on the Lucario's channel, saying that a new region has been discovered by Gaming Peter, Dinos. And he's and he says it's open to anyone in in the public. Um, works good, but of course I really want want to go there. So I immediately pack my things that night, deposit all my Pokemon besides my Raichu, and head over to Dinos. Now, even though there are gym leaders and a Pokemon League in Dinos, I don't challenge any of them. I just want to come to the region to master battle bond a bit more and train up some more Pokemon that I could add to my arsenal. Now, some of the Pokemon I catch are Blasthawk. Um, Blasthawk, Raidoon, um, Dolphos, Plantasaur, and Dragoon. Those are some of the Pokemon that I catch, and I don't and I may have pronounced them wrong, it's just that I really don't know how to pronounce these names, but I catch one more Pokemon, of course, and that's my Sharp Teeth, my powerhouse of this Dino's team. And you know it because I've used it in all of my, in, in my more modern team. And it's my Grass Z-Move user to a day. And that is my final, um, that's the first Pokemon I catch in Dino's. And after um, just walking, do, going around the region, battling some trainers, even battling the um, the um, professor at at the end of the region and winning, um, tournament eleven is announced. And you know what? That's time for. Now from here on out, the tournaments are gonna be intense. The it's gonna be a bit longer for me and you to cover the uh, tournaments, but the next section of the timeline is going to be really good so okay guys let's get right into tournament 11 and now it's time for tournament 11 when i arrived there it's in hoenn so 
I've never been to the Hoenn region before, and I'm not going to be exploring it at all. I may explore it in later events in in the timeline, but not but not to a day, obviously. But okay, moving on. We get there, and I meet some of some new trainers that have showed up. Of course, we got your normal um, uh, TJ, Steve, Gaming Peter, Alexander, and AJ, and RSG and Infer. But we also got some new trainers, which are Greninja Productions, Summit. Um, Steve introduces me to his sister and Argon Med Bitsu. And it turns out that Steve, that RSG and Infer didn't actually register in time. Oh wait, actually, that's tournament 12. Sorry. To, this is a big tournament, so everyone is hyped up for it. I also meet some uh, some trainers like Jackster, I also meet. Who I don't battle, but are good trainers overall. But And I also meet Game Master 25 here. So, I meet a lot of trainers tra here. But, okay. Moving on. Uh, so, the opening ceremony begins. And my first match is against Summit. And I know that this is that is going to be a good battle. And I'm hyped up. So, my battle is battle 30 out of 32. It's a big tour tournament. 64p people just like tournament 8. So it's going to be a big one. And pretty much all all of the battles go by with not much trouble. And then it's my turn to a battle. The battle starts and it's really intense throughout the whole thing. But I managed to whittle down his team down to his Mewtwo. And I think it's going to battle bond, but it doesn't. My Charizard was taken out to his second Pokemon. So I had to bring out my Marshadow and... After a quick but fierce battle, Marshadow goes down to due to fatigue. And then I send out my last Pokemon, Raichu. I battle bond it and the match is on. It's a really intense battle throughout the entire thing. Mewtwo's trying to do its best, but Raichu's just landing attack after attack after attack. Thunder, Thunderbolt. Iron Tail using agil agility to uh, to uh, dodge it its attacks, and I finished the battle off with Iron Tail to the face, knocking out Mewtwo and giving me access to top 32, the first tournament battle I've ever won, and I was happy about it. I celebrated the entire night, and and everyone congratulated me on my first win, but uh. Yeah, moving onward. So, after hanging around for a bit, meeting some of the other trainers, the top 32 matches display. And, um, it's, I'm up, up against Steve's sister, which is very interesting to me. Since I really kind of want to beat her so, uh, I can move on. Since I really am hyped out that I won before. So, pretty much, Angel already went out before this. He went out in round one. So, in this, um, while I'm watching all the battles, RSG goes out in top thir thir 32. So, that's one more rival that I don't have to, um, deal with. But, okay. Moving on. Then, it's my battle again. It's me versus, um... Steve's sister. And the battle goes on really well. I get the early lead, but she's putting up a good fight. Every time I take out one of her Pokemon, she takes out one of mine. Eventually, I my Charizard takes out her fourth Pokemon. I got three Pokemon left. She's got two. Then she throws out her Primal Kyogre. Steve didn't tell me anything about her team so that, um, sh so that I didn't know what to throw out here. But, um... Charizard tries to fight back against Primal Kyogre, but one um hi Hydro Pump, all it takes to um take Charizard out, because it set up Rain Dance before this. And then Marsh Shadow comes out. And even though putting up a really good effort, it has to throw out Shadow Ball, Dodge, Close Combat. But it goes down after a really intense battle, but 
Kyogre's still on good HP, so now I'm down to my last mod. Raichu. So I throw out my Raichu, battle bond it, and it's on. I one thunder attack in the rain, just as the rain's going away, I yell, Pika Raichu, thunder attack! And thunder just comes raining down, frying Kyogre, and taking it out. And that's just as the rain goes away. So then, the water disappears, and she returns Kyogre to its Pokemon. Then she throws out her ace, Gar Gardevoir, and battle bonds it. This isn't Omega, it's battle bond. <clears throat> now this is the first battle bond versus bad battle bond fight. And <clears throat> it's intense. We're just exchanging attacks. Thunderbolt, dodge it, Iron Tail, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Protect. It's just going forever and on. It is just feels like the battle is just dragging on and on. Every time it, I land an attack, she lands another attack. But eventually, our health bars will whittle down to red. And I and Raichu throws out a Thunderbolt attack, but... And then Gardevoir throws out a Moonless, but the, but Gardevoir dodges the, the Thunderbolt, and I don't have enough time to dodge the um, Moonblast. So Raichu gets hit and goes flying across the stadium, landing on the ground hard. And as the ref is just about to say that Raichu's down, Raichu gets back up and charges at Gardevoir with all of its might. Steve's sister commands Gardevoir to um, do a finishing Moonblast. But as it looks like Raichu's about to get hit, it uses its dig move. A new move it just on It gets underground, dodging the Moonblast, comes right under, pops up under Gardevoir, hitting it for a really good amount of damage, then coming right back down with an Iron Tail attack. And that, Gardevoir falls and is unable to, to battle. And Raichu wins, meaning I get to move on to the top 16. This, that was a really good battle. And I, th I think it was one of the uh, better ones I've had in the tournament. But now, as um, usual, we finish up the last two, like the last couple battles of round two. And then the the, the top 16 um, battles are shown. And I'm up against Argument Bitsu for, for this round. Now, the rest of round three plays out Gaming P, Peter, and Infer and AJ move on. But the rest of us get taken down. TJ loses to Game Master 25. T Steve gets taken out by Scout. And Alexander goes out also. So this makes it kind of hard. Since I don't want to lose now because I want to make it farther than my rivals. Because I want to prove myself that I'm actually a good trainer now. So I am hyped for a... For, for my rival bat idol against Argument Bitsu. And the match leads off fast. And the match is going pretty good. Um Cartana, Blastoise, and Sharp Teeth take take the take the first half. And then Marshadow, Charizard, and Raichu take the second half of the match. But I managed to get um Um Argument Bitsu down to his last Pokemon, Mewtwo. And Charizard was already taken out, so I threw out Marshadow. And then he battle bonds Marsh. I mean, he battle bonds Mewtwo, and it turns into a, a Shadow battle bond Mewtwo. Marshadow goes down within two hits. It manages to land a close combat, a very good attack, but it still goes down in the end. So I have to throw out my last Pokemon, Raichu. I battle bond it, and the match is on. This is the most intense battle I've had up to this point. And it's just attack after attack after attack. And with all of... And we're landing the same attacks, but my HP bar is going down faster than Mewtwo. So I have to improvise using Dig and Iron Tail as a combination, making the HP bars even again. The battle just keeps dragging on. The stands have no idea who is going to win this. And after the one final attack happens... Mewtwo throws an Aura Spear, Raichu throws out a Thunderbolt, they go past each other, they hit, and the smoke clears. They're both laying limp. They both get up, look at each other, and Raichu takes the fall. Raichu goes out. 
That means my final placing in Tournament 11 is top 16. Not bad. So then after the battle, I shake his hand, and it was a real... I tell him it was a really good match, and to keep training hard. So then, pretty much summing up the rest of Tournament 11, Infer goes up against Jaxter, top 4, losing... Infer loses to a Jaxter. AJ goes up against... Jackson in the finals, AJ wins, and Argument Butsu goes down to Jackster in top 8. Yep. So, that was it for Tournament 11, but we still got a bit more left to, um, to uncover, but... Okay, guys, let's get on to the events between Tournament 11 and Tournament And now 12. it's time for a quick segment, but... The Halloween event! Of course, so... As I'm training in Kalos for Tournament 12... I get word that a Halloween event is currently going on. And you need to go to Lucario's, who is a Pokemon, but is also a train a trainer in the Halloween new Pokemon that have showed up around the the Pokemon world. So of course I get on on a ship and head over to this island where Lucario's is training. I hear it's called the Lucario's Islands or something like like that. But I show up at the island where he said to Gaming Peter and TJ have already challenged them at this point. So I'm the third one to a challenge. And the match is on. Um, so the battle starts off. And um, pretty much the battle is even throughout the whole thing. Until I get the disadvantage by the halfway point. But Raichu turns it around. Taking out two Pokemon. So he's down to two. But Raichu goes down to like a vampire hawk thing. And then Marshadow comes out. Using its Z move. Finishing off the hawk thing. And then Wathy comes out as it's as Lucario's his final Pokemon. Marshadow goes down. I send out Mega Blastoise. And Blastoise finishes the a job by using a hydro cannon attack when it was on the ground. Waithy was coming in for an aqua jet, but Blastoise gets a back flips over and launches in a hydro cannon in the air, knocking out Waithy. And for my reward, I got the same Pokemon that I KO'd Waithy. But Marshadow was called to Alola by the Ars by a like a legendary Pokemon to help protect. Um, the, the region from an evil organization. So, Marshadow had to leave my paw already. I say goodbye to Marshadow, and I can still use Marshadow whenever I want. It's just that he, I don't actually have him at the lab currently. And, um, so Marshadow leaves, and I make a new slot in my party for Wathy. So, that is pretty much it for the Halloween event segment. Now, it's time for the last segment, Tournament 12. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's get on with Tournament 12. This is going to be fun. So, I arrive at Tournament 12, and I meet all my normal um, rivals. We got Gaming Peter, Steve, T TJ, Argan Mbitsu, um, um, Alexander. Um, then we also have some new people that showed up. Greninja Productions and Kirby Fan. There are some new trainers that... Have showed up for the tournament. I think I mentioned Greninja Productions in Tournament 11. If I didn't, well, he's here now. And, um, yeah, I also meet some other new trainers. Johnny Blaze and Big LU are some other ones. And I noticed that this place is uh, filled with a lot of newcomers. And I look on the roster and I was, Infer and RSG aren't there. They actually are here, but they aren't participating in this tournament. Which I think is pretty weird, but okay, moving on. So, um, the, so the, it's a top 32, battle bonds are not allowed, so they give us, like, these rings to put around our Pokemon's, like, arm, if we do have battle bond Pokemon in our party, so we can't use them. But, okay, my top 32 match is against Johnny Blaze. So, Pretty much all the other rounds go smooth, smoothly. All of my rivals make it on. And now it's my turn to a battle. This round is intense. I It's a close match e all the way through. But I get the advantage because of my sharp teeth. And it gets down to his last Pokemon, Charizard. My Wathy did a pretty good effort in taking out his legendary Pokemon before this. 
But when he goes down, because he mega evolves, his Charizard mega evolves into Mega Charizard X and takes out my Wavy. But Blastoise comes in, mega evolves, and after a really quick battle, he finishes the battle with the same technique he used against Wavy in the Lucario battle. But with that battle out of the way, the second round is open to begin after doing the last of the tournament of the round one battles round two begins so i'm gonna cover a couple of the highlight battles up until mine gaming peter versus anthony i thought gaming peter was gonna win this one but nope anthony wins this was a sub shock to all of us because we thought gaming peter was gonna do good in this tournament but he went out second round and then also a cup another highlight is aj versus greninja productions even though Greninja Productions did go down, props to both of them. They did a really good job in this tournament. So then, moving on. My battle. Um, me versus Big LU. And my team for this tournament is pretty much the same as last time, except swap out Marshadow for Wathy. But now, the battle kicks off. It's pretty much even until we get to final three Pokemon each. He sends out his Negadidel. And I send out my P my Raichu. And Raichu has already I mean, um Negeta has already taken out Charizard before this in top four. So um I'm going in and Raichu and Negeto battle, but Raichu gets taken out due to Negeto having a Dragon Tail move and Dragon Rush. But it goes down. Then I have to send out my Wathy, and it takes down Negadadel in one shot with an Aqua Jet. And then, um, Big Go, you send out a Rayquaza. And it was a an intense battle of legendaries, but in the end, Wathy pulls through! But, at the end, because of recoil, Wathy goes down due to recoil. So it's a draw. And then the final match is... Mega Lucario versus Mega Blastoise. After a fierce battle, I f um I use Ice Punch. Mega Lucario uses Power Punch. They clash, and after they they look at each other, and after um a subtle like couple seconds, Mega Lucario goes down, giving me the um the a match. Really good. So now I'm on to to the top eight. This is the best I have ever done so yeah i'm pretty hyped so let's cover all the other battles before mine shall we kirby fan versus steve steve moved on to the, the semi-finals so kirby fan lost top eight but for his first tournament he did really good so uh, then moving on we had anthony anthony versus aj aj actually lost here he was the champion of tournament 11 which What's well, surprising to me, proving Anthony is a really strong trainer. And then it comes down to my battle. Alexander versus me. This was a really good battle. I can't remember all of it, but let's cover some of the highlights. I take the advantage first by taking out his Shiny Gudra, ending it with, with a Dragon Rush Hurricane combo. And then Blazing King comes out. Taking out Charizard, but Raichu comes out swiftly after using a Dig Thunderbolt combo to take out Blazing Kid. Then a Shiny Decidueye comes out, a Pokemon I've never seen him use before, taking out Raichu. Next up is Sharp Teeth, and then they draw after a, a close battle of Grass types. Three, th three on on each side. So then. I send out my Cortana, and he sends out his RCS creation, Greninja. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Master Greninja, but after a hard battle, Cortana pulls through after using a Leaf Blade on it and blocking its Water Shuriken with, with Protect and then using Gyro Ball to finish it, it, it off. And then, um, it sends out a Xerneas. This is a problem, because it takes out both my Cortana and Wafy with only half health of its left. Half health left, whatever. So I have to send out Blastoise, Mega Evolve it early, and then take out Root Exernius. Then it comes on to the final battle. Mega Scizor. But, okay. 
let me say the end of the battle. So the end of the battle is really intense. It, both Pokemon are on their red HP. This match is going to be super close. Alexander tells Scizor to fire off a Metal Claw. I tell Blastoise to fire off an Ice Punch. They run at each other. They clash. They go through each other. They land on the opposing field. And then smoke. After t like 20 seconds of smoke, it, it, um... This, uh, it disappears, and both Pokemon are looking at each other. After 10 seconds of looking at each other, Blastoise takes the fall. Making my placement in Tournament 12, top 8. But, after this, um, defeat, um, I go and watch in the stands for TJ versus Argument Bitsu's battle. And TJ wins, obviously. But then Shadow Lugia shows up, for some reason. Because Auction sent it. And it literally just sends Gibble the, the Garchomp to who knows where. But pretty much the rest of the tournament goes simple. Steve manages to win out against Anthony. Alexander pulls through against TJ. And then Steve wins by taking out Alexander in the finals. Pretty convenient to see how the first person that took me out of this. Out of the tournament I've ever been in. Actually wins the last tournament I talked about in this timeline, but okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for the timeline. Well, I'll talk to you guys more in the intro section. Okay, guys, and that is it for my Pokemon Lucario Productions timeline. I will be updating this at the end of next year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um timeline video some future things to expect from me on the lucario production channel we got three battles planned me versus mr gold and then some rematch battles me versus rsg and me versus tj then also of course we got tournament 13 coming up and also what i forgot to mention is that alexander also invited me to train out his park so he so he could give me some tips and i also caught a shiny poi pole on the way there so, yeah, and I also forgot to mention the Christmas event, too. I'll cover that next time, but, okay, guys, so, this was my Lucario's Productions timeline. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to go check out Lucario's, Lucario Productions, and I will see you guys in the next video.